we think it's time to just move on into some new things don't you into new clarity new understanding and new sustaining of the joyful momentum that you were born to live of allowing this natural knowing to flow to you and through you it is the dominant energy stream and you don't have to sustain it because it will always flow to you no matter what but the more you are aware that you are in concert with it so that you are allowing it then the more practiced you are at that open valve so to speak some time ago we put it to you in this way unless you're doing that thing that doesn't let it flow it flows but even when you're doing that thing that doesn't let it flow better said even when you're doing that thing that makes you unaware that it is flowing it's still flowing it's still flowing it's still flowing it's like the air conditioner <laughs> always flowing always flowing in other words it's flowing it's flowing it's flowing it's always flowing and so the more you acknowledge it through your feelings of exhilaration then the more you begin to expect it but it is helpful for you to realize that being in this state of alignment feels different emotions sometimes you're tuning into this stream feels like utter clarity sometimes it feels like real interest in something sometimes it feels like so much fun and madness and mayhem sometimes it feels like you're living in a situation comedy you are and that the universe has orchestrated a sequence of events just for your surprise and delight it happens all the time sometimes it feels like such intense appreciation and love that your physical countenance isn't enough to hold it all at once that's when those tears flow in other words it feels lots of different ways but it always feels good and the dominant word that we would like to interject into this conversation today that you would recognize as a symbol of you standing in your now in your personality fully focused in this time space reality out here on this leading edge of thought and in focused harmony with the source within you who is also standing with you in this time space reality out here on this leading edge of thought the realization that what it feels like when you are consciously aware that you are in concert with your source energy right here right now the word satisfaction is the best word that describes it it's just that satisfying feeling that closing of the gap between all that you've become and how much of that you're allowing yourself to be right here right now and when that gap is closed or close to closed you feel such satisfaction because then you feel you're powerful now you're powerful now the moment when the convergence of you and all that you are happens now now in every now you are extensions of source energy equal partners in this non-physical consciousness playing your part in this leading edge contrast in order to come to new awarenesses of more and of better and as life causes you to focus yourself into those awarenesses into those new desires then your inner being that non-physical consciousness moves forward with you immediately into your newest idea moves forward immediately into your newest idea long before you move forward into your newest idea you often have a sort of gap the rocket of desire shoots forth sometimes you're not even aware that it has happened because you're still beating the drum of what has caused you to know that you want it but it has emanated from you just the same and it has begun its own attraction power on your behalf so when you ask for anything no matter what it is it begins to become immediately and your inner being stands with it and holds the vision of it 
holds the knowing of it, holds the expectation of it. Now, some of you are becoming aware of the most powerful law in the universe, really the only law that we talk much about, and that's the law of attraction. And as you stand in your physical body, you're becoming more and more aware that you get what you think about, you get what you talk about, you get how you feel. Because through life and through observation, you practiced thoughts and those thoughts become beliefs and those beliefs become your point of attraction. And your point of attraction is represented in every aspect. The way you feel just keeps showing up. If you're confident, it shows. If you're afraid, it shows. If you're a worry ward, it shows. If you are strong and secure and stable, it shows. If you believe in well-being, it shows. If you believe in not well-being, it shows. In other words, you get what you think about whether you want it or not. Sometimes exhilaration, sometimes satisfaction. Isn't it satisfying to be happy? Isn't it satisfying to have a new idea? Isn't it satisfying to see someone you love thriving? Isn't it satisfying to love them even when they're not thriving? Isn't it satisfying to know that well-being abounds? Isn't it satisfying to recognize how wise you are? Isn't it satisfying when your timing is right on? Isn't it satisfying to eat something delicious? Isn't it satisfying to set forth an intention? And this is really what we're going for here. Isn't it satisfying to be a deliberate creator who understands the laws of the universe, who knows who you are, who sets out with clear intent about something and then recognizes the universe playing its part in bringing about the circumstances and events in good timing for the fulfillment, for the continuing, ooh, better word here, fulfilling. Fulfillment makes it sounds like it's coming to an end. Fulfilling lets you know that it's always coming, always coming, always coming, always coming. The fulfilling of your never ending joyous journey on your way to your never ending completion. If you'd never heard anything from us or anyone that knows anything that we know, your life would teach you all of this just naturally because of the setup. You were born into contrast, which causes you to ask automatically. Step one is taking care of you. You don't need a class about that anymore that you need a class on gravity. So this consistent, lovely law of attraction, it just does its thing. You don't have to know about it and source answers every time. And you don't have to know about that. So your vibrational reality, this vibrational version of everything that you want and everything that you become just keeps amassing more and becoming more and being the confident, successful, everything that you're reaching for. It just bees that and just offers a signal to you all day, every day. Here we are. Here we are. Remember us? Remember all that we've become together? Here we are emanating everything that we are. Here we are. Here we are talking about you and your inner being. Here we are. Here we are. Here we are. Confident, happy, appreciative, loving. Here we are, here we are, here we are, here we are, here we are. But you notice mostly where you're not here, where we are, when you're somewhere else. When you feel negative emotion, that's when you have your most knowledge about the existence of this vibrational reality. Because you couldn't feel bad if we didn't feel so good. You couldn't feel hate if there were not so much love over here. You couldn't feel unprosperous if there were not so much prosperity here amassed for you if there were not this vibrational relationship that is so vibrationally connected to you you could never feel negative emotion which means every bit of negative emotion that you feel is such a good thing because it's evidence of how far you've come and how much you are you see in the early days Esther argued with us but Abraham this thing that you don't think I should be thinking about is a true thing. So shouldn't I give it my at least courtesy? Shouldn't I at least be willing to be objective enough to acknowledge its reality? And we said, yes, of course, if you want it to be your reality too. If you want to practice the vibration by observing something unwanted until that's what you're emitting and so that's what you're attracting, then of course you have the freedom to do that. But if we were standing in your physical shoes, we would not be giving any air time, which means any attention time, which means any vocal time, which means any conversation time to unwanted things because that's how you keep them coming. And then as you know those things and you find the relief 
of lining up with who you really are and then you begin to watch the evidence of that alignment that's when you really begin to be who you knew you would be when you got here but no one needs to tell it to you because negative emotion just doesn't feel good doesn't it seem natural that you would gravitate toward things that do feel good in other words does somebody need to say to you that doesn't feel good so stop doing that it's like the hot stove nobody had to tell that to you more than about 10 times <laughs> the stove is hot in other words you naturally gravitate toward things that feel good and away from things that don't feel good if left to your own clarity and your own devices you just do not wrap yourself around things that do not feel good you just don't you don't we know this seems absurd to you but you know what you do that so no one needs to tell you what feels good and what doesn't feel good but somehow you've lost your ability to give yourself permission to gravitate toward what feels good which means you're not utilizing your guidance system in the way that you meant to which is exactly what you wanted to talk to us about today why would anyone give up your natural guidance system we know that if someone said to you um, you might not want to touch that and you say oh you're right or nope I'm gonna prove you wrong I'm gonna prove you wrong well, there are a lot of people that are advising you in a lot of ways, but don't you have your own internal guidance system that lets you know what's best for you? The better it gets, the better it gets, the better it gets. What happens is, because no one needs to teach you this because you can't go wrong, because you can't stop asking and Source will never stop answering and you will never stop knowing whether you're in vibrational sync with who you really are. Once you have this very basic understanding in place, life's going to go better for you forevermore. All you've got to do is accept one very important premise. If negative emotion is present, you and your inner being, who has evolved to this clear-minded, pure, positive energy being, are in disagreement about this. So just stop and ask yourself, what is the conversation that I'm having? I don't like me. Oh, that doesn't feel good. I don't like me. I don't like me and I don't like you and I think you should be different than you are and I think I should be different than I am and I think the world should do a better job of making things good for me and I think the conditions should change so that I can feel happy you have all of these things that every time you think them it hurts more than putting your hand on a hot stove and yet because there are so many around it's like there's a cluster of people standing around with their hands on hot stoves everywhere you look and now the conversation's all about how to cool the stove down and <laughs> how to move stoves out of the way so that nobody has to burn their <laughs> hands on them and how to make some laws about the hot stoves and how to cook things without any heat and how to just eat raw things don't eat anything that needs any heat required and put the stoves where the children can't find them and never mind making sense of your world change the world change all the conditions of the world so that you can just blunder around and not hurt and we say you came because you want to use the power of your focus to focus yourself into alignment with the knowledge that is within you and when you do you will have such clarity and such confidence and such insight and such timing that you could navigate in a world that was mostly only hot stoves everywhere you went and still thrive you would say bring it on bring on the contrast because resistance along my trail there's always a path of lesser resistance and I can always find my way.